As 3D artists, a lot of us were hyped for Avatar, The Way of the Water. I know, the plot is nothing to brag about, but visually speaking, it was amazing, and it's managed to produce some of the most visually stunning scenes in filmmaking to this date. So I couldn't help it but think about how they did that. Well, the good news is that in a lot of times, they use the same tools that we know of and we are familiar with. One of the companies that worked on many blockbuster movies actually worked on 3240 VFX shots out of a total of 4000 movie shots. And as a coincidence, I stumbled upon this newly released video from Houdini's YouTube channel, the powerhouse 3D animation and VFX software by Side Effects, and it had this breakdown by Nicholas Illingworth, a VFX supervisor at Weta Effects who's mostly focused on the development of the water and fire visual effects. He revealed that in Avatar 2, Houdini was used for a massive 2225 shots, such as the Tolkien hunt and the epic and battle sequences. But now, you might be thinking, why was I even surprised by this? After all, Houdini is a big deal in VFX productions, isn't it? Well, yes. But Wada has its own secret in-house tools, such as Loki, a framework that includes solvers for multiple water states, including procedural water waves, bulk water, and spray, among many other things. So why Houdini? Let's just say the production team decided to make things a bit to get the best out of the two worlds. But before we get into that, basically at the near end of the project, they needed to get a lot of artists on board. And since Houdini is an industry standard software, it allowed them to hire a lot of VFX artists into Weta who can do all the work they achieved in other places, without having to waste time teaching them new software, which makes sense. Houdini was also used to help them handle their massive water simulations, which contained many creatures and vehicles. They pulled it off by automating some aspects of it to some degree and running individual simulations for each creature or vehicle separately, which is a standard practice in VFX. Besides, they also developed a fancy new chemical combustion model for the software. Now, I know fancy terms like this can sound like gibberish, for most of us at least, but basically, it is a way to produce authentic fire effects, which are hard to make believable otherwise and it allowed artists to control important aspects such as fuel type and equivalence ratio to produce a different look. But where is Loki in all of this? Actually, they figured out it could be better to run it inside Houdini, to have access to the power of both, and then make the artists they hired along the way comfortable with the workflow. They made it work through VDBs, a popular file format in the industry, to go back and forth between the two programs but in terms of the visibility of the user, it is as seamless as using any other Houdini solver. The advantage of the setup they put together, based on Loki and Houdini, is the procedural aspect of the workflow. You see, they have set up and created a series of templates for things like a creature popping out of the water, and to put this into action, they had their own personal template loaded inside of what they called Kaira which allowed leads, seniors, and supervisors to create or develop what can be then loaded by any artist in the team to use. The procedural aspects of Houdini also helped to support the creative process, because they were able to build complex node setups and templates while knowing and having a sense of security that they could scale it at any time they wish, which means they could change the details in the effects thanks to its procedural nature, for example, making a water simulation bigger or smaller, by just changing the values in the nodes. In the end, I would like just to mention that these are just some of the many use cases of Houdini in the movie, and in the industry in general, because just in what alone, Houdini has made exceptional progress in the recent years, and was able to create fantastic worlds and entire productions around the software, which is a proof of how strong and prominent it is. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You could also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
en Didach One.